All right, Shalom. Before I start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, or Kakurash, the wanderers, the elders, and apostles, great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, your brother Malak from GMS Detroit, another video. All right, and I just, I'm redoing it actually. I just, I was, I was just doing it. And the first five minutes was of low quality because I had to deal with unexplaining what she was talking about in the first half of this video. So what we're going to deal with is the second half of this video in which, you know, she's completely right in the second half. But in the first half, she's going off a bit. She's talking about why she's against interracial, you know, so-called interracial relationships, which her being an older nigga woman, she experienced, you know, pain and suffering at the hand of Esau Edom, you know, firsthand. Uh, nevertheless, we know that Israelite man is allowed to make use of the women of other nations. Uh, so I, I don't feel like wasting five minutes explaining all, all that. What we're going to do is deal with the second half, the fact that we're going to be given those new bodies. And when we are given those new bodies, see all the, the thought processes, the way of life that we've grown up with now, it's going to be completely erased. We aren't going to show Esau any mercy. He didn't show it to us. We're not going to show it to him. And that's the focal point of this video all right now i believe she's being taught the basics by a guy she's being interviewed and it sounds like because he used the word christ you know maybe he's an iuic guy uh he's a bit softer spoken so i, I want to say he's an iuic member maybe but he's telling her the basics and then the conversation gets to a certain point of revenge on e and she's going to make a statement that's very uh self and she was kept it real with herself. Uh, she kept it real with herself. And you, you'll see what I mean. Hey, that's why, hey, y'all, when the Lord gives us th these new bodies, you know, because we're coming out of this place spiritually, but it's going to be fully accomplished at the return of our Lord. And when we have all the chains off, it's not going to be good for E. Hey, this is a good point right here. She was talking about uh, slavery, but she said, hey, you, you think it's still a slavery. You just don't know it. And, she, hey, she know more than most of you dumb idiots out here, man. You niggas are still in slavery. You just don't know it. But let's keep going. <laughs> exactly. You don't know nothing. You can't go to certain places. You should go to the store and follow you around. Oh, you saw the police, they ain't gonna listen to you. Nope. They're gonna take you on the tail, beat you up, shoot you. You got a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when, when people read the Bible, that when Christ comes back, he gonna put us in charge. How does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would, I wish I would be able to see some of the things. Yeah. kept it real y'all he asked her you know how does it make you feel knowing that when the lord comes back he's gonna put us on top she said it makes her feel good she said i want to be there to see these people get the she said some of them who she referred to the edomites she said i want to see some of them get punished and destroyed but she says she said what she said i know that he gonna have to change my heart because I'm a, I'm gonna be too soft on. She said my heart is too soft. I'm gonna give him the light work. She said, you know, if I had a maid or something. And that's the truth, y'all. That's why we're being given a new body, a new mind, a new heart, so we can accomplish this mission. Hey, Elder Apostle Tahar said it himself. He's, in, he's made the statement in a couple videos. You know, right now, man, you pick a little, eat my baby up, man. You ain't gonna. <laughs> hey, hey, nah, uh, so now nah, some of us. <laughs> Some of us don't mind, but you get, you get what I'm saying, right? It's it's not even us now knowing this truth. If you if some if you just walked into a room with a big sign saying you can cr you can stop on this mother effer skull with no penalty, you're not you you gonna be like, hey, wait a minute, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. Where's you know is this a prank? Where's the 
You're not going to be able to do it indiscriminately. When we're given those new bodies, y'all, we're going to lay out judgment indiscriminately without respect to persons, without second guessing, without fear of repercussions from this man's system, without memories of growing up in school and going to movies, Disney, none of that. All right, Zephaniah 3 and 8. This is why we have to wait upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that change. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured by the fire of my jealousy. All right? So we have to wait. Literally, for the return of Yahweh Shai, we have to wait for these prophecies to take part, uh, to take pass. We can't try to initialize our kingdom without the green light, like the Sakari tried to do, right? We'll get destroyed. We have to actually, we have to wait for that new body, for the spiritual power to hit. We can't force anything. We're not strong enough. Not, not, not only physically are we not strong enough, but y'all keeping it real we don't have them. We're, we're not the Maccabees, yo. Keep it real. Hell, after five, man, some of you niggas, man, you niggas be sticks that camp, man. You niggas don't got five good punches in you before you win it. And even the ones of us that do train, like myself, we don't have that. <laughs> we just don't got it. We literally lack the knowledge to wage war on a massive scale to push this man back. We don't have that, y'all. We need the new bodies. And a part of the new covenant is the new bodies. And what's going to be given to us in that? We're going to take a look at that word in the Hebrew. Like she said, I'm too soft. And that's just, hey, she kept it real with herself, y'all. She kept it real. What's made us soft? Like I said, we've grown up in this man's system. We watched the Looney Tunes, nigga. We watched Disney Channel. Uh, 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 wake up Applejack cereal. Fucking, you know, uh, 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 uh. Watching TV, fucking, uh, you know, I'm, I'm younger, right? You know, that's so Raven, uh, SpongeBob. We didn't grow up in this man's world. So the Lord's going to have to give us, a, uh, open our minds to the new world, to our kingdom that's coming. And with those new minds and bodies, we'll take out and destroy anything that stands in front of that without a problem, without hesitation, without second guessing. Ezekiel 11 and 19, and I will give them one heart. And I will put a new spirit within you. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. So let's take a look at that word. Heart. Okay, so we're hey, we're going to be given a whole new heart. We're not going to be in the same mentality as we are now. Now we're going to have our same spirit, literally, because spirits don't die. But we're finally going to be given a body that is capable of being perfect because we will no longer sin. That is... The sacrifice that Yahweh Shai laid down, through his sacrifice, we will be made perfect. And in that perfection, we will finally be able to do something we didn't do. When the Lord brought us over that, uh, brought us over the Red Sea, we're going to execute judgment upon the heathen. All right? We're going to get it done this time. <laughs> All right? The heathen ain't going to be able to dwell with us to vex us no more. We're going to completely subjugate them without any idolatry or sin. Let's look at that word heart. Yep. La'ab. Uh, inner man, mind, will, heart, understanding, your inner parts, soul, heart, mind, knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory. So literally all your our mind, we're going to have a new thought processing system with the with given to us of the new bodies we will be perfect. We will no longer go off. We will no longer be tempted no longer have fear hey that's another scripture in ezekiel another reason why we're going to be you know without fear we're going to be perfect who's going to be our leader who's going to be back at the helm steering us you know uh, uh, how shy obviously but who, who else are we going to have back y'all ezekiel 34 and uh 23 let me highlight Right here it says, and I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them. Even my servant David, he shall be their uh, it. He shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. So David is going to be back. 
and when we had David, we was hey under David's authority, you know, we was cracking domes. Then in Solomon's authority, we was in peace. So we're gonna have both of them back: David, our king, and Solomon, which is Yahweh Shai. All right. Let me get the other one. Uh, verse twenty-eight. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the uh neither shall the beasts of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. So we ain't gonna have anything to fear. We will no longer fear the repercussions of putting our hands on an Edomite. The 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 protection I was given to him in the time of Cain, whoever touches him, he shall be avenged, uh, you know, seventy fold. That's gonna be lifted. We will have the green light to touch eat. So no. She said he had to change my heart because my heart is too soft. Hey, that's a hey, hey, hey. I love when people keep it real, y'all, and that's a real, you know, a woman. I, I, I can sit here and have, I can conversate with you if you can keep it real, even if you don't fully understand the truth. But if you can just keep shit real, I can conversate with you. All right, I, I can conversate with people in the world that can keep shit real, you know, up to a certain extent. Obviously, you know, these people. There's eventually you'll say something that'll bug them out, but that was very honest of her and very introspective. She said, "I'm too soft." She said, I'll give him the light work. In the kingdom, we ain't giving him, especially E. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> E's getting anything from the lightest work. What does it say? What what does it say we going to do to him and Micah? Let's go take a look, y'all. We, we going to bust domes out. And we aren't going to feel anything. Because it's righteous. It's long overdue. Their screams will is not gonna deter you like okay you know in the movie right the bad guy the bad guy getting the best of the good guy right he get him down on the ground and right before he give that finishing blow you know the good guy he's looking up you know uh, you know then the bad guy he'll stop and give him a speech we ain't doing none of that we ain't giving no speeches nigga so somebody can sneak up on us and say that none of that it's gonna be straight up judgment dishing it out micah 5 and 15 I will execute anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. We gonna whoop that ass like we ain't never. Y'all thought David did something? Wait till Yahawashai get here and the elector raised up and David is is put back up and given it. David, King David, when he is uh, restored as one of the elect, he's gonna be able to do more damage than he did in his life as David. Think about that. You know, they the, the, the verse, David uh, has slain, uh, no, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. You got to be a hell of a motherfucker to take out thousands of men in battle. And what he was capable of on that side was nothing compared to what he will soon be capable of. And, and what proof is that? Hey, Luke 7 and 28. Uh, uh, you know, what talking about John the Baptist. It says he was the greatest that was a greatest prophet born among women but he that is least in the kingdom of heaven shall is greater than he meaning what the level that we're going to be on as the elect men i don't want to i be a part of and when i say the elect men i'm speaking specifically the 144,000 god king lord priest killers warriors specifically you know you're going to have the other men that make it and then the women and the children but i'm talking about right now the 144k the fucking killing machines that's going to that's gonna be here y'all they're going to be on another level alright and what are they going to be doing while on that level Micah 5 and 8 and the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among, as a lion among the beasts of the forest as a young lion among the flocks of sheep who if he goeth through both treadeth down and teareth in pieces and none can deliver that's the mode we gonna be on. We gonna be fucking man, y'all boy. Movies don't do it justice. Hollywood ain't did it justice. Video games don't do it justice, y'all. It's gonna exceed our imagination, and I'm very imaginative, uh, imaginative, and other brothers are too, right? Elemental powers, uh, teleportation, manipulation of objects. You know, hey, I, I'm, I'm gonna have the the super whip. 
a living whip capable of, uh, uh, you know, autonomous ass whipping, you know, it can, it can, it can spark fire. It can use lightning. It can extend itself. It can shrink. Right. That's going to, that's going to be my main man in the kingdom. The, uh, the, the super whip bitch can, I slap him with it. It's going to wrap around him with magma. <laughs> Uh, it is going to be made out of spine, spinal cords of Edomites. All right. L2, L3, L4s of Edomite spinal cord. Bones wrapped in poison and spikes, God damn it. Right. And even with all that, all of what I imagine, that, that ain't shit to what we're going to be actually capable of, y'all. And like she said, we're going to need that new mind, that new heart, that new body. Because this current body that we have now, y'all, we've grown to a custom here. And that's just as real as it gets. All right. Like I hey, like the apostle, elder apostle Taharjan said, you would even right now, you would be hard pressed to just up and easily take out a, 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 a damn baby. Even the hardest of us in which, you know, I, hey, look, I, I can't speak for everybody, but <laughs> for some of us, it would be easier than others. All right, because I particular, I don't like, I hate when I even see eat of my babies. It makes me uneasy. I don't like them. <laughs> be having to hold back the thoughts. All right. Nevertheless, we're not in that position to be able to put hands on this guy indiscriminately. He will, he will reach in, in, in us taking carnal vengeance on this side. He will over retaliate and utterly destroy us. But when we're given those new bodies, that won't be a problem anymore. Oh, no. Oh, she did And then that part, you know, what he what he said right there at that part is true. I don't like the fact that he used the word Christ. You know, he. I don't know if that was a brother actually. You know, in a, you know, one of our camps. So, until further notice, I ain't gonna completely bash the dude. But it, you know, usually how when you how shy when you explaining this truth to people, y'all. Uh, once you get past that first stepping stone, you know, I don't go back. Uh, but like he said, one of the heavy, the heavy thing in it. We are a better people. Like she said, y'all, she had admitted, you know, the Lord will have to put that into my heart because I'm too soft. Hey, hey, y'all, hey, at the end of the day, man, y'all, us Israelites, man, we just want to fucking, we just want to be happy, man. What's that Mary J. Blige song? Uh, Blige song. All I really want is to be happy. Y'all know that fucking song. Y'all y'all got grandmamas too. Shit. Go play that damn song. It's a good song. You know, we're going to whoop some ass. We're going to get some shit in order. But what we want to do ultimately, man, we just want to kick our feet up, enjoy our wives, W-I-V-E-S. Uh, 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 our wives enjoy their husband, enjoy our children, eat good. Hey, man, what the brother may, the brother Zion in the camp, what he say? Eat good, drink good, and fuck good, man. That's all we ever wanted to do. <laughs> and worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai even better. All right, so that's about it, y'all. That's about it. Uh, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakhorash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim, Wa Akwath, learning and teaching and truth and sincerity. Hey y'all. That change is gonna change everything, man. That change is gonna change everything. Shalom.